What's up everyone, my name is Par from Retain Monster and you've just stumbled upon week number 48 of our League of Legends Top 5 plays. Don't you feel lucky? Well you should because this week we have some really sick and unique plays to share with you. Starting off the episode is Jixor playing on Lee Sin and he's pushing bottom lane with Blitzcrank when suddenly Jarman comes out of the jungle and Shen starts to pour in. Cataclysm goes down, they're going to leave it to chase down and kill Blitz and as soon as it ends, Jixor gets on Janna but then they come to aid her so he's going to run to the jungle. We quickly fast forward it as he loops around back towards the tower and he lands a blind sonic wave into resonating strike for the kill. He turns and uses Dragon's Rage to knock them back as he W's to the minion, activating Iron Will to heal off the spell van from Smite, barely keeping himself alive through the ignite. Just as an added bonus to the sick play, Jarvan flashes with intentions of killing him with Demacian Standard, but he actually dodges it with safeguards, so Jarvan dives and he's actually going to fly back in there as the tower and Malzahar finish him up for a second kill for their team. At number 4 we have Cripple Nipple making another appearance on her show, but this time playing Soraka. At the start his team is picking them off in the tower, but then Bran starts to get very low, so she's going to flash his summer spell heal, keeping him alive with about 5 health left. All I can say is wow, Soraka's passive. Coming in at number 3 is Dingle Dots on Janna, and at the start we see her prepared to push them back if they try and run up and snatch it. As Baron gets lower in health, we see the enemy team Zerg past Galio to try and steal the buff, so she's going to back off and prepare for the fight. But then she sees the opportunity, she's going to flash Monsoon, clearing them right into Galio as he uses his ultimate, buying her team enough time to secure Baron and come over and destroy the enemy team afterwards. Scoring in at second place is Mondillo playing on Lux, and at the start she is headed towards this poor Jarvan that's trying to escape three enemy players, and he's going to pick up the kill on Akali, and right before he dies she's going to shield them once and then a second time on its way back. He then fights for a moment and flashes after as he tries to run, but then Rumble catches up and right before killing him, Lux is going to shield him again as he gets right back into the action on the Rumble and picks up his second kill. With this final bomb on him and practically zero health, he must die, right? Nope, maybe next time. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Zonky on, you guessed it, Heimerdinger. To give you guys a little taste of this guy, we start this clip off by showing you his way of doing things like a boss. As the clip fast forwards, I just wanted to say that we don't favor any champion in particular when it comes to this series. We honestly just give you guys the best that we find weekly, which just so happens to be Heimerdinger for some reason lately. And now we get to the meat and potatoes of this clip as four enemy players come through his jungle, so he's immediately going to set up a single turret, instantly upgrading it while stunning Graves and Warwick. He turns around picking up the kill on Graves and then rocketing the three remaining enemy players for heavy damage, getting the double from the Warwick and the triple from Vayne. Now he's going to box it out with Nidalee for the quadra kill, all thanks to the little turret that could. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have MTG Dross playing on Kaylin in bottom lane. She gets ganked very early off in the game and is too overextended to run, so she's going to get onto Corky and then gets exhausted, but she manages to bring him down with her passive thanks to fighting him in the brush. She then runs up into the next brush, breaking line of sight, and then flashes into the middle of the lane, snagging a single shot onto Shyvana as the trap gives her the double. She immediately turns to Lux, forcing her to flash as well, and what do you know, looks like she caught a wild triple kill that can easily sell for about a thousand gold. Please like, subscribe, and favorite, and all that great stuff because it helps our channel continue to grow. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed week 48 of our League of Legends Top 5 Please.